What if I told you that the dietary advice telling you to absolutely avoid carbs is actually sabotaging your metabolism and energy levels? Today, we're diving into the revolutionary work of Dr. Ray Pete, whose 40 plus years of research reveals why the right carbohydrates are essential for optimal energy production. Dr. Ray Pete wasn't just any nutrition guru, he was a PhD biologist and specialized in physiology and spent years and decades researching how nutrition impacts cellular energy, hormones, and metabolism. His bioenergetic approach has helped thousands overcome chronic fatigue, thyroid issues, and metabolic dysfunction. But before we dive into Dr. Ray Pete's specific recommendations, we need to understand why the mainstream advice to avoid carbs is fundamentally flawed. Here's the truth that the diet industry doesn't want you to know. Your cells need glucose to function optimally. When you restrict carbohydrates, you're essentially starving your mitochondria, the powerhouse of your cells. According to research published in the Nature Cell Biology, mitochondria are responsible for converting nutrients into ATP, your body's energy currency. Without adequate glucose, your body switches to stress hormones like cortisol to maintain your blood sugar by breaking down its own muscle and organ tissue. Dr. Ray Pete understood that chronic carbohydrate restriction triggers what's called metabolic failure, where your body relies heavily on stress hormones to compensate for inadequate cellular energy production. Now that we understand why your body needs carbohydrates for optimal energy production, let's explore Dr. Ray Pete's specific recommendations around carbohydrates and which ones he recommends. Dr. Ray Pete emphasized tropical fruits as supreme sources of easily digestible sugars. His top picks include mangoes, papayas, lychees, longans, and guavas. These fruits contain both glucose and fructose in optimal ratios, and research shows that fructose can enhance glucose absorption in the small intestine, leading to more stable blood sugar levels compared to glucose alone. So here's a quick tip. Start your day with some fresh mango or papaya. These provide immediate fuel for your brain and liver while supporting thyroid hormone activation. Building on the concept of easily digestible carbohydrates and natural sugars, Dr. Pete's next recommendation might surprise you even more. Dr. Ray Pete consumed large amounts of quality orange juice, sometimes up to a quart per day. Orange juice provides glucose and fructose along with vitamin C, potassium, and folate. A study published in the Journal of Medical Feud found that natural sugars from whole fruit sources like orange juice can actually improve insulin sensitivity when consumed as part of a balanced diet. One important note, this isn't just your store-bought processed orange juice. This is loaded with additives. We're talking about fresh squeeze, ideally organic orange juice consumed with meals. So if fresh juice seems a bit radical, well, Dr. Pete's third recommendation offers another concentrated source of natural energy that's been used therapeutically for decades. Dr. Pete viewed raw honey as liquid energy, perfect for supporting your cellular metabolism. Research published in Dr. Ray Pete's own writings shows that raw honey is antimicrobial, also can lower C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation, homocysteine, triglycerides, and cholesterol while supporting insulin function. One tip you could do is add a bit of honey to your favorite tea or coffee, or what I like to do is add a bit of raw honey to my favorite Greek yogurt in the morning, and it's a great way to start the day. Now, moving from concentrated sugars to more substantial carbohydrates, Dr. Ray Pete also identified specific starches that support optimal metabolism. Dr. Pete advocated for easily digestible starches, particularly white potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, especially raw carrots, and squashes. These provide glucose through starch digestion while offering essential minerals. Research in mitochondrial metabolism shows that glucose is the preferred fuel for the electron transport chain, which produces ATP more efficiently than fatty acids alone. So one tip I would say is cook your potatoes thoroughly and consume them with some saturated fats like butter, tallow, or ghee to optimize absorption and metabolic benefits. Now here's where Dr. Ray Pete's approach becomes truly controversial, where many people initially resist his ideas. Unlike most health experts, Dr. Ray Pete didn't demonize white sugar. He actually found it to be therapeutic when used in the right context. 
Now, pure sucrose provides equal parts glucose and fructose. Dr. Ray Pete viewed it as what's called therapeutic material for times when good fruit wasn't available or when someone needed immediate metabolic support. Now, this doesn't mean to eat unlimited amounts of sugar. Dr. Pete recommended it in small amounts, ideally with protein, and always emphasize whole food sources as primary choices. Okay, so those are Dr. Ray Pete's top carbohydrate choices. But you might be wondering, what's the actual science behind how these work so well? Let me break down the fascinating research that supports his approach. Dr. Preet's approach is built on supporting mitochondrial function, the cellular powerhouses that convert food into energy. Studies published in journals like Circulation Research show that glucose metabolism is more efficient than fatty acid oxidation in ATP production. I also just did a video on how glucose metabolism can be more efficient for the cells than fatty acid oxidation. The glucose fatty acid cycle, also known as the Randall cycle, demonstrates when both fuels are available, glucose provides faster, more efficient energy. When your cells have adequate glucose, they don't need to rely on stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to maintain energy levels. But efficient mitochondrial function is just part of the story. Dr. Pete discovered that the liver needs adequate glucose to convert inactive T4 thyroid hormone into the active T3. Research confirms that carbohydrate restriction can suppress thyroid function and increase cortisol levels over time, while adequate carbohydrate intake supports healthy thyroid hormone production. So better thyroid function means higher metabolic rate, better body temperature regulation, improved mood, and sustained energy throughout the day. Now, even with all this science supporting carbohydrates, I know many of you are still thinking, but what about all the studies showing that carbs are bad? Let me address the two biggest myths head on. Number one, carbs cause weight gain. Well, research published in the Journal of American Dietetic Association shows that carbohydrate intake is actually inversely related to body fat percentage in both children and adults. Now, weight gain typically occurs when people combine high carbs with high fat, which is typically the standard American diet, not from carbs alone. When carbs are consumed with minimal fat, they support metabolic rate rather than fat storage. Myth number two, sugar is inflammatory because research shows that natural sugars from fruits and honey can actually be anti-inflammatory when consumed as part of a nutrient-dense diet. So the problem isn't sugar itself, it's the processed foods combining sugar with industrial seed oils, artificial additives, and refined flours. Now, natural sugars in their whole food context provide essential nutrients and support metabolic and cellular function. All right, so now you understand the why behind Dr. Ray Pete's carbohydrate recommendations, and we've cleared up a lot of the major misconceptions around it, but how do you actually put this into practice? Let me give you a roadmap. Dr. Ray Pete actually advocated for frequent small meals to maintain stable blood sugar and support metabolic rate. So let me give you a sample day. Maybe start the morning with some fresh orange juice with eggs. Mid-morning, maybe some mango slices with some high quality cheese. Perhaps lunch, a white potato with butter and lean meat. Maybe in the afternoon, you have some raw honey with some tea or coffee. In the evening for dinner, not too close to bedtime, maybe have a sweet potato with some lean fish or some shellfish. So now that you have like a typical day based on Dr. Ray Pete's recommendations, let's talk about a few principles that I think are important when it comes to Dr. Ray Pete's approach. Always combine carbohydrates with high quality protein. This could be dairy, eggs, shellfish, or lean meats. You want to use saturated fats like butter, ghee, coconut oil, rather than polyunsaturated fats, such as vegetable oils, nuts, and seeds. Dr. Ray Pete actually recommended getting fluids primarily from milk, fruit juices, and fruits, rather than just plain water alone. And so there you have it, a pretty complete guide to Dr. Ray Pete's approach to carbohydrates for optimal energy production. So let's tie this all together for you. Dr. Ray Pete's research reveals that the right carbohydrates, things like tropical fruits, fresh juice, honey, and properly prepared starches are essential for optimal energy production, thyroid function, and metabolic health. So the anti-carb movement have confused people about this essential macronutrient. 
When you choose the right sources and combine them properly, carbohydrates become your metabolic ally, not your enemy. So start slowly by adding in Dr. Ray Pete's recommendations. Perhaps add some honey into some yogurt, maybe some orange juice to start the day, but pay attention to how your energy levels respond. There might be a bit of an adjustment, especially if you've been low carb or restricting carbs for a long period of time. So remember, optimal health isn't about restriction. It's about providing your cells the right fuel to thrive. Your mitochondrial will thank you.